I'm Rudy from Lionel Engineering. Today I'm here to talk about Sensor Track. Sensor Track is an optional part of our layout control system. It's a 5 inch section of straight fast track, and the heart of this product is a pair of infrared receivers located between the center and outside rail. These sensors pick up information beamed from passing legacy and vision locomotives. On a diesel, the infrared transmitter is located under the belly tank. On a steam locomotive, it's mounted on one of the tender trucks or under the tender frame. As that locomotive travels across your layout, it's constantly sending information. When the engine rolls over a sensor track, the information is collected, and it is this packet of data that enables sensor track's key features. Automatic cab 2 updates, displaying that locomotive's location on your iPad, and triggering preset and custom action commands. Let me show you each of these features in operation. Automatic cab 2 updates. This feature requires one sensor track, one or more compatible locomotives, a legacy command base, and one or more cab 2 handheld remotes. When a legacy or vision locomotive rolls over a sensor track, information including its road name, road number, and its lighting options are collected. As soon as this happens, each and every cab 2 in operation will automatically be updated with all of this useful information. Locomotive location on your iPad screen. This feature requires one or more sensor tracks, one or more compatible locomotives, a legacy or base 1L command base, an LCS Wi-Fi and your iPad, and the LCS app from Lionel. By adding an LCS Wi-Fi module, you can track your locomotive's location on your iPad. Lionel's LCS app shows updated location information each time a compatible locomotive rolls over a sensor track. Using the LCS app on your iPad, create a custom control panel for a section of your layout. Include a sensor track icon in this track plan. Now, when a physical locomotive crosses this part of your layout, a virtual pop-up will appear, showing the engine's type, road name, number, and a green arrow indicating its direction of travel. Preset action commands act upon all compatible locomotives crossing a sensor track. This feature requires one sensor track, one or more compatible locomotives, and a legacy or base 1L command base. Sensor track can make compatible locomotives sound off when they roll by. These preset action commands include dialogue, bells, and whistles. Sensor track comes with eight preset action commands built in. You can switch action commands at any time or turn them off. We're going to program this sensor track to action command 1. Action command 1 blows a grade crossing signal when the locomotive passes from right to left. To set that, we're going to press the program button. It begins to blink. We're going to hit accessory 4, which is the ID I want to assign to this sensor track, and then set. The green light blinks rapidly and then starts blinking again. And now I'm going to program the action command, aux1, 1. 1. The light blinks again and goes out. The track is programmed. The sensor track we just programmed is in the upper right corner of your frame and the grade crossing is in the lower left. Let's bring our first locomotive around and see what happens. Bringing any other legacy locomotive across that sensor track will have the same result. Finally, sensor track actions are different when your locomotive is traveling from left to right versus from right to left. 
Let's see an example of how that works. Here, a sensor track is placed near a station. I've chosen the preset command that plays departing and arriving dialog. Let's say we're departing northbound. We'll hear now departing dialog. But when returning southbound, the same action command plays an all clear inbound scene. In an upcoming video, I'll show you how to use SensorTrack to record your own custom actions. These custom recordings can control all locomotive features, including speed and direction. Recordings can also operate switches and accessories, and even run multiple locomotives. I hope this video has given you ideas as to how you might use SensorTrack on your layout. Mm -hmm.